Welcome back to Statistics Made Simple and I am Savita Valsang. In this video, I will find solutions to some more problems based on the chi-square test for goodness of fit part 2. video my focus is on the second type of problems on chi-square test for goodness of fit where we have to test that the given data satisfies a particular law or the data is consistent with a given genetic model in a particular ratio problem 4 according to Gregor Mendel the first generation of crossbreeding of red and white flowers will have 1 is to 2 is to 1 red, pink and white flowers. In an experiment, the frequencies happen to be 13, 21 and 10 respectively. Thus, the data support Mendel's law. To give a short information, Gregor Mendel is known as the father of genetics but he was remembered as a gentleman who loved flowers and kept extensive records of weather and stars when he died. So let us start with the solution now. Given, let us list down the frequencies in the problem which is capital N equal to 13 plus 21 plus 10 which is equal to 44. So an experiment was conducted and the frequencies of crossbreeding of red and white flowers gave 13 red flowers, 21 pink flowers and 10 white flowers. So when we add up all these frequencies, we get capital N equal to 44. Since alpha is not mentioned in the problem, we take it as 5%. Now to write H0, we use whatever statement is given in the last part of the question. In the question, they have asked us to check whether the data supports Mendel's law. So your H0 will be the data supports Mendel's law versus H1, the data does not support Mendel's law. Under H0, the test statistic is chi-square equal to summation O minus E whole square by E which follows chi-square N minus 1. Now in this particular problem, only the observed frequencies are given and we need to find out the expected or the theoretical frequencies. So E is equal to capital N into P of X. Highlighted in the pink colored box, first I have the flower color as given in the problem, red is to pink is to white and the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. When we add up the values in the ratio, we get the total as 4. On the right hand side of the slide, first I will find out the probability of getting a red, pink and white colored flower using the given ratio which is highlighted with the green asterisk and the values are so to find out probability of a red flower in the ratio we are going to use the probability formula which is m divided by n that is number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes which is equal to 1 divided by 4 because in the ratio there is only one red flower and the total number of flowers is 4 so probability of getting a red flower will be 1 by 4. Similarly using the ratio which is there in the pink box find out the probability of getting a pink color. You again use the formula m divided by n the number of pink flowers in the ratio is 2 so it will be 2 divided by 4. In the same way, find out probability of getting a white flower. Use the formula M by N, which is equal to, we have one white flower in the ratio. So it will be one divided by four. Now that we have the probabilities of a red flower, a pink flower and a white flower as one by four, two by four and one by four respectively, 
we can find out the expected frequencies or theoretical frequencies using the formula capital N into P of X. So the expected frequency of a red flower will be 44 into 1 by 4 which is equal to 11. Similarly, the expected frequency of a pink flower is 44 into 2 by 4 which is equal to 22 and the expected frequency of a white flower is 44 into 1 by 4 which is equal to 11. we will form a table in the first column we'll have the flower color which is denoted by x that is red pink and white and the number of flowers which are given in the problem are the observed frequencies which is 13 21 and 10 when we add them up we get capital n equal to 44 next we write down the expected frequencies or the theoretical frequencies which are denoted by capital e and the values are 11, 22 and 11. Keep in mind that the expected frequency should always be greater than or equal to 5 and that is satisfied in this problem. Next find out O minus E whole square. So 13 minus 11 is 2, 2 square is 4. Similarly 21 minus 22 is minus 1, minus 1 square is 1 and 10 minus 11 is minus 1, minus square is 1. Then find out O minus E whole square by E in the last column in the table. So it is 4 divided by 11 which is 0 0.3636. Similarly the next is 1 divided by 22 which is 0 0.0455 and then 1 divided by 11 which is 0 0.0909. So we get summation O minus E whole square by E equal to 0 0.5. Therefore, the chi-square value is 0.5. The degrees of freedom for the chi-square test is n minus 1, which is equal to the total number of observations which are there. That is the red, pink and white is 3. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. At 5% level of significance for 2 degrees of freedom, K2 is equal to 5.99 from the statistical table. Now the condition which we have to use for the chi-square test for goodness of fit, you know that it is a right tail test and the condition is you have to check if chi-square is greater than or equal to K2. If this condition is satisfied, you reject H0, otherwise you accept H0. So write the conclusion since chi-square is equal to 0.5, this is not greater than K2 equal to 5.99 at 5% level of significance for 2 degrees of freedom, we accept H0 and conclude that the data supports Mendel's law. Problem 5. Among 64 offspring of a certain breed of guinea pigs, 34 were red, 10 were black and 20 were white. According to the genetic model, these numbers should be in the ratio 9 is to 3 is to 4. Are the data consistent with the model at 5% level of significance? Solution. Let us first write down given. Add up the offspring which are in red color, black color and white color. So you get capital N equal to 34 plus 10 plus 20 which is equal to 64 offspring of a certain breed of guinea pigs and alpha is 5%. So we are asked to check whether the data is consistent with the model which is given. So write H0 the data is consistent with the model versus H1 the data is not consistent with the model. Under H0 the test statistic is chi-square equal to summation O minus E whole square by E which follows chi-square N minus 1 where E is equal to capital N into P of X. So E stands for the expected frequencies. The observed frequencies that is O are already given to us in the problem as 34, 10 and 20. So now we need to find out the expected frequencies.
highlighted in the pink colored box first I have the guinea pig color as red is to white is to black and then we write down the genetic model which is given in the problem the ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 4 when we add up 9 plus 3 plus 4 we get the total as 16 so like the previous problem let us first find out the probability of getting a red black and white colored guinea pig using the given ratio which is highlighted with the green asterisk in the pink colored box so probability of getting a red guinea pig we use the formula m divided by n for probability which is equal to 9 divided by 16 because the number of red guinea pigs are 9 similarly the probability of getting a black guinea pig will be 3 by 16 using the ratio and probability of getting a white guinea pig is 4 divided by 16 now that we have the probability of a red black and white guinea pig we can find out the expected frequencies so expected frequency of a red guinea pig will be 64 into 9 by 16 which is equal to 36 similarly the expected frequency of a black guinea pig is 64 into 3 divided by 16 which gives us 12 and the expected frequency of a white guinea pig is 64 into 4 by 16 which gives us 16. Now form a table where in the first column you have the guinea pig color which we denoted by small x and the colors are red black and white in the next column write a number of pigs within brackets such as the observed frequencies that is 34 10 and 20 which is given to us in the problem which gives us capital n equal to 64 in the third column write down the expected frequencies which we found out that is 36 12 and 16 then find out O minus E whole square which is 34 minus 36 which is equal to minus 2 minus 2 square is 4. Similarly 10 minus 12 is minus 2 minus 2 square is 4. Then 20 minus 16 is 4, 4 square is 16. Then calculate O minus E whole square by E which is 4 divided by 36 is 0 0.41s then 4 divided by 12 is 0 0.43s and 16 divided by 16 is 1 which gives us summation O minus E whole square by E is equal to 1.44s therefore we get chi square equal to 1.4444 and now from the table or from the problem we have small n equal to 3 which stands for the number of guinea pig colors so degrees of freedom we should find out which has the formula n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 equal to 2 so at 5% level of significance for 2 degrees of freedom the k2 value is 5.99 we know the condition for a right tail test for goodness of fit you have to check if chi square is greater than or equal to k2 if it is you reject h0 otherwise you accept h0 so our conclusion is since chi square is equal to 1.4444 is not greater than k2 equal to 5.99 at 5% level of significance for 2 degrees of freedom we accept h0 and conclude that the data is consistent with the model Problem 6. A sample analysis of examination results of 500 students was made. It was found that 220 students had failed, 170 had secured third class, 90 were placed in second class and 20 got first class. Are these figures consistent with the general examination result which is in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 for various categories respectively? solution given capital N equal to let us first add up all the results in the different categories that is 220 plus 170 plus 90 plus 20 which gives 500 and alpha is 5 percent then define h naught the figures are consistent with the general examination result 
versus H1, the figures are not consistent with the general examination result. Then under H0, the test statistic is chi-square equal to summation O minus E whole square by E, which follows chi-square N minus 1, where E is equal to capital N into P of X. Let us first list down the exam result. Categories that is field is to third class, is to second class, is to first class and the ratio which is associated with it which is 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 and we get the total as 10. So let us now find out the probability of getting results that is failed third class, second class and first class using the given ratio which is highlighted with the green asterisk. So the probability of getting a failed result is m by n which is 4 by 10. Probability of getting a third class is 3 by 10 and probability of getting a second class is 2 by 10 and probability of getting the first class is 1 by 10. Let us now find out the expected frequency of the failed result which is equal to 500 into 4 by 10 which gives 200 then the expected frequency of third class is 500 into 3 by 10 which is 150 and expected frequency of second class is 500 into 2 by 10 which is equal to 100 and the expected frequency of first class is 500 into 1 by 10 which is equal to 50. Let us now form a table with the results in the first column as failed, third class, second class and first class which is denoted by small x. Then the number of students are denoted by O which is 220, 170, 90 and 20 which gives capital N equal to 500. The expected frequencies are 200, 150, 150. Then calculate O minus E whole square where the values are 400, 400, 100, 900. Then find out O minus E whole square by E which is 2, 2.667 and 18. So we get summation O minus E whole square by E as 23.667. Therefore the chi-square value is 23.667. In this particular problem N is the number of result categories which is equal to 4. Next find out the degrees of freedom n minus 1 which is 4 minus 1 equal to 3. So at 5% level of significance for 3 degrees of freedom k2 is 7.81. The condition which we are to use for this test is you have to check if chi square is greater than or equal to k2. If it is then you reject h0 otherwise you accept h0. So the conclusion is since chi-square is equal to 23.667 is greater than k2 equal to 7.81 at 5% level of significance for 3 degrees of freedom we reject h0 and we conclude that the figures are not consistent with the general examination result. Problems worked out under this category that is the second category of chi-square test for goodness of fit are phi markers. Please practice the problems. Thank you all for watching and look out for my next video where we'll find solutions to problems based on the third type for chi-square test for goodness of fit which are important 10 markers.